know and love so much. So hopefully we do see some good CS out of Fnatic. I mostly just want to see some more life. It, it feels like I was talking about it with Bled during the break, and it's hard to put his, our finger on why Fnatic didn't look like themselves. And it felt like they were standing in the right spots, but they were out of sync. Out of sync. I like the sounds of that. Grims and JW syncing up for a couple of kills early here towards the B side. Crims blowing Crystal away just through the edge of the coffins. So the pistol seems to be that of Fnatic starting off this T side strong, charging up B, not slowing down, going one better. I think Crims is pissed. And that's not somebody I want angry at me. No, not someone who's that bald with that with that kind of hand tattoo for sure. It's, it's not a Swedish somebody Punisher. you want to have someone like that on your side at all times, definitely. Um, and yeah, when Crims gets mad, I think he's one of those kind one of those players who definitely does ramp it up. Not that he lagged behind at all in that first map, and and Fair. in general on this roster, he's literally one of the most consistent players on the freaking planet. He's so good, and there it is, four kills to prove it. But out of sync in the sense that maybe it's the communication is out of sync with the positioning or the fact that they're not fired up and putting themselves in very dangerous spots but not playing as fanatics do and and are able to be aware there's like lagging behind uh, i feel like in terms of how they would normally act and yeah that's a lot of good damage here to godsend as they're on the defensive some good damage in response but it is just the two mac 10 players to take the brunt of it yeah, all things considered, I'd still rather be Fnatic. Krim's trying to spam the smoke close A. He does have a player taken to the top of the pallet. So all is good. Farlig, Deagle Shot connects to the head of JW. So that's one casualty versus Fnatic. But uh, look, they don't have to rush this. There's still a minute to play. So they're going to just call it off. Yeah. Rotates will begin to drift over towards B. If they do it, they should probably do it together. They've sussed out all the info at top mid. Still hoping that it's going to be A. But now... That far leg, or sorry, Crystal, excuse me, has heard all of this commotion over on the B side. They'll take their attention over here as well. And there's a player up on the, ooh, <laughs> up on the oranges, yeah. I thought for some reason he would die. Crims has other ideas. Yeah. Starting off this second map, six and zero. We also saw Fnatic have a five zero lead at the start of Nuke, only to close the half with a one round differential. So, a classic example of strong starts and fizzle outs by the time of the half ends. For now, True. we wait, because this one is going the way of Fnatic, undoubtedly. Godsend just holding off in case anybody exits through CT. You know, if, so, if they want to throw away their guns, then uh, you just stand here with open arms and try and take them. But nobody heads their way, so four survivors here for Fnatic. Great start, but no real contest as of yet. Definitely. We've only recovered the MAC-10. Stop it off. Nice trades here by Crimson. Click. Good bug, Crystal. If only it was always that easy. Yeah. Sometimes it is, and that's probably why we continue to play. Make up for all the uh, the pugs that don't go so well. You have those moments where everything just makes sense. The shots go in, and sometimes you put your cross in the right place. The shots don't get, go in. Some days you do it, and every single time you turn a corner, you get a kill. That's just just how it goes sometimes. Flesha, he wants it. Oh, wow. Long range, uh, Zeus. It's a couple with Madden's peak with the Deagle. Three on three, and Crims is hurt. They are stacked on the correct track site. Pushing into the fire is Farley, not afraid whatsoever. And there's still one last line of defense here. And I don't think he's made any noise. I think that has to be one of the most aggravating feelings in Counter-Strike GO, is when you Zeus somebody for like 80 damage. Because that's exactly what just happened for Crystal. Unfortunate. But, uh, oh. whoa, Crimson, hold whoa. your horses. This yeah, both 50, these players are incredibly low. On Depends on the one shot. Depends who hits the first bullet. Crims, he's creeping to the left in Madden. Oh my God, he's got back around the cover. Crims turns though, and he's ready. Fnatic, a third, but what costs? And out of nowhere. And an incredible, uh, an incredible cost because it's three AKs, maybe four, because there was one person who died with the MAC-10 that last round. So yeah, that's a lot of money to, to have been dropped. Flesha is buying a UMP with $3,000 left over. Mix, excuse me? Yeah, I... He's... Who am I to judge him? I don't know. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, who are any of us to judge him? But like, what the heck? And JW's Whoa. going up front too. I mean, Golden getting hit in the back. <laughs> Pasha getting his nade damage in as he normally does. And it's, yeah, it's just a series of tragic events for Fnatic as God Sense. Now we're up five to two. Hmm. Uh, Could that have gone go. any worse? It, no, it, it really it really couldn't have. Yeah, there's not even not much damage to show for it. They haven't drawn out a significant amount of grenades the only map control they have is top banana which is no surprise to godsend what what i don't know crystal destroyed by brolin who's just creeping crawling around the corners trying to lock it in but uh it is madden 
to enact revenge there. One kill versus Crystal as he played behind the fountain. Let's keep our eyes on this one. Madden just shutting down the first player as he comes around the smoke. Quick trade, sprays away, all in a day's work. He is six and two at the moment. That's Krim's first death, by the way, was seven and zero before he finally fell. God sent break onto the board and they do so in convincing fashion. So much so that they're just gonna charge straight down middle versus the pistols on the other side here. Seiko denied, flush shot. Getting the Deegan. Now Farley, he's going to be overwhelmed by the CZ of Brolin. And out of nowhere, we've got Godsent throwing rounds away. Hold oh, yeah. on now. Settle yeah, we've got down. a real round. The double play. close one. Oh my god, Madden. Yeah, not aware of the thought that there could be a flank. And yeah, the trades go out pretty well. In fact, the last person remaining is Crystal. And he's going to be limited on information. He runs over towards the A site. The bomb's already being planted. Or it's just being held as they potentially wait. Um, and Crystal is just walk right into their crosshairs. Looks like JW finally put the... Oh, he knows where the plant is as well. It's not on default. He's totally aware of this. JW. Smoke saves JW. That's what gets him out of here. Crystal, he's just going to jump oh back God. onto this. He, he has another smoke this. if he needs it. JW! JW! Oh no! Crystal just makes him look like a fool and oh, he's lucky to get away with his life. But what is that clutch? He didn't even drop his grenade that he had in his hand. I, which I don't... Uh, 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 man, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to, how to make sense of what just happened. Another that's round, crazy. Madden comes out, does almost the same thing. Uh, Crystal pushes it to completion there. And uh, I mean, smartly played by Crystal, I guess. It's the smoke he forced out of JW, knowing JW has an op. Knowing since he's low HP, this could be a really long and overly complicated clutch, or he could just dive and see if he can dodge one or two off shots and not even a single one comes in. Whatever, I guess. Unbelievable. Crystal pulls out some of the most incredible clutches sometimes, but- He uh, does. Speak of him, he just gets turned back around at the base of B. Gets a little excited there, thought he could find himself behind Fnatic with Vax turn, but now they're going to use that one kill versus him to charge straight in on Madden, who gets one through the smoke, a little bit further damage versus Golden, so everybody's in the 70s for Fnatic. He's going to put yep. down another Molotov, trying to keep them inside of construction. Buys a little bit of time here, but nobody's actually able to get off of the bomb site, so it's still just Brolin back towards B, seeing nothing, and Godsend are going to have to start considering a save. Oh, they're going to walk away in the 4v4, unreal. Yeah, they just didn't have any retake utility, plus the off to worry about. And uh, Madden got one kill playing in a very retake position. Like, he's not in the site looking to try to defend and get two and risk dying. Instead, he's really just hoping to get one, which he did, through the smoke, but stay alive. But yeah, they just didn't have any retake utility. Might not have been aware of how little retake utility his team had, to be fair. But certainly a better situation here for Godsend to save, to bring it to the next one, um, than try that again. Now, they need to probably tighten up a bit if they want to win these rounds, like letting these kills go at the bottom banana. Ultimately is going to allow Fnatic to just take a lead in the game because, you know, they even brought those those two 1v2s very close, and uh, even though Godsend split and won one of them, they probably shouldn't have. And a lot of that is because it's early round. It's just a, it's, it's a bit too haphazard in the Godsend camp, pushing down, overextending. A little bit of an extension here on the A site, but at least they're doing it together. Makes this threat a little bit easier to digest. Krim's gonna walk right into it. He still manages one kill, but yeah, the trade frag's there. Good positioning from the Boiler player to tag up Stiko on his retreat. Brolin doesn't give him a chance to breathe, and that's a trade frag. So sure, they lose Krim's, but uh, they're better off for it. Doubling back to grab the bomb, and this is gonna be another round where God sent just forfeit. Three survivors on the B site, they're not gonna move. Yeah, they had no arch presence whatsoever. They had the three towards B, the aggressive hall set up for info. Crims does enough to get a kill. And, you know, once Stiko gets spotted, they know no one's in halls anymore. They know their one player is frantically trying to get to pit. So he's probably concerned about A. And then they also have pushed for top mid control. So there's nothing to worry about on arch as well. Checkmate for Fnatic. Not really uh, a lot going in the favor of Godsend uh, after that point. So a bit strange that they committed so hard three to B when there was really no action over here. But I think they came out with the early gamble stack in the hopes that Fnatic would rock it back and their A players would stay alive. But uh, that didn't happen. That did not happen at all. They save their guns. It's, it's, again, not the worst situation. I mean, losing the round with three up and the last round with four up means that you keep your economy relatively stable, at least better than it would be if you tried to commit and lost. They keep the off as well. They maintain a threat, but Fnatic are already up to five rounds in this half. And are probably feeling a bit more comfortable. Seems so, I would say. There's, there's been a couple of uh, quite confident plays. I would say Crims going for that peak alone is one of them. And then we saw the follow-up from the, the Boiler Paler. But uh, pick on their weakness. Fnatic have lost their last three on Inferno, but Godsent were on an eight losing streak before they beat FaZe yesterday. So Fnatic probably mm -hmm. watching that matchup, knowing they'd have this game today. They saw the formula for Godsent's success, and it seems they've created the counter recipe thus far. Mm -hmm. Hit them where it yeah. hurts. I like so that. Even though Godsent looked good, they still have, you know, relatively very inconsistent 
go of it on Inferno. So yeah, that's definitely obviously a good sign here for Fnatic. And we'll run it back. Let's try it all again. They've all got guns. Some saved. Mostly saved, honestly, both the NCT side. Early shot on B, and JW arm is being shown. Whoa, chance there for a kill. And he's pushed off into the corner. Crystal wanted that fight badly. In fact, didn't even want to shy away half blind. But it looks like they'll start to concede. Oh my god, he's pushing out again. Nope. And JW gets killed. No trade in sight. Oh. What a shot from Flush or from Crystal on Flusha. I love it. Let's see if Brolin can try and claw his way into this A site. Gets Farlig first and foremost. Zen's been able to rotate from Arch, not sectioned off by the Molotov, but rather here towards Modus to support. Smoke plumes on the balcony. This is going to cut off Brolin's line of sight. <clears throat> Brolin's Brolin line of sight. And uh, now I wonder where they take this. It's like the opposite of helium that you've ingested. <laughs> a lot of voice like this. I like Zen's uh, a little bit of aggression here. He wants the information Ooh, because Fnatic have fallen silent, but that silence is now deafening because it's definitely the Wait. opening they needed on the A site. Can they get past Stiko? He's ready for them. Posted up. Three terrorists about to walk right into this. Brolin tries to hard clear. Stiko drops downwards. <laughs> Can't maintain the spray for the third one, but we're into the 1v2. Crims taps the plant one time, but next he needs to stick it. The CT's getting closer. Stecko so reliable on these anchor holds, man. I, I can't believe it. They even threw a kill away on this A-site hold. Crims in the 1v2. They're yeah. sacrificing Crystal for the information. And Crims in a moment of doubt. Yep, Madden tries to push out and he can't get it over top of his own smoke. It slightly works against him and allows Madden into the round. Op will be picked up. Another clutch goes the way of Godsend. But what the hell is Zen doing meandering around mid? No loitering, my friend. He's pushing down mid when they're out 4-3. to three. They don't have info on B once again. And... After collecting the info at top mid, you can cheat one over through archway. But what is the what gives you what gives you the green light to uh, walk down mid? It seems a bit dangerous. Maybe they're expecting some more, just way more noise from Fnatic or way more aggression. But uh, the man advantage they had, I think, was they were in such a good spot. They were they were in a great spot. Watch that through some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you love it. Crystal, who had a great opening to the last round by peeking around on, on Banana. You know, he took that risk by going back in with the flashbang, just, 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 just jumping over top of the fire. So uh, he was hungry for a little bit more. And I think he's now got his filling. Flusha stuffs him through the smoke. Five versus four here for Fnatic. That B control starting to be given away by Godsent. They want to cheat a member. No, in fact, they want to cheat everybody over to this A site. So... That deep smoke coming out of Fnatic to block off Library. Good thing they have Madden in CT spawn to try and couple with Zen, or else this would be really awkward. Mm -hmm. There's always a world of possibility where Fnatic head back towards B off Flesha. But Madden, he's got two bodies lined up. Successful trade frag despite losing Zen in the mix of it all. He's still standing tall, and Bomb has gone towards B. The sprint is on. It was looking like a pressurized B, or sorry, Arch exec, but it looked like it was going to be a wrap towards B, so they're ready for this late round adjustment. Bomb gets planted. A bit more utility in this situation. Number, numbers have whittled down a bit more as well, so it's not quite as daunting as the four on four. Nade does significant damage to Flush. He's now one bullet away from death, but how long do they camp out and try to re potentially retake here? Good boost here from Stiko. Oh, he, he sees off. it, Still yeah. Up, sees the arm, blows it open. Stiko fully blinded. Snipe's gonna miss the shot here from JW. He is very much pinned in, but still fighting back. He's got them both dead to rights. Fnatic 6-3. Fnatic doubling the score on this T side. And Fnatic dodging a bomb as they peeled off of A, sprinting over towards the B site. You have to, ha you have to ask yourself, you know, whether... If Flusha get, doesn't get the kill versus Crystal through the smoke, how easy is it to get that B call rolling? How confident are they to sprint into the site 3v1 and take it by storm? That's a crucial that's why, round. Yeah, and that's why 5v4s are everything in this game, especially at the top level. And so Crystal, I mean, he's been more than reckless on Banana, looking for the fights, but sometimes it, it works out great, and that just may be where Godsend's comfort zone is. If they don't get these kills, maybe they don't feel confident being able to win in the 5v5 until they force Gambit, uh, force these Gambits and, and see if Fnatic will take them, which they have been most of the time, because obviously they're always happy to fight. But um, yeah, I think that the strat overall was great from Fnatic. Godsend's stack towards A, uh, blind, was an insane call. It ended up working out so well, too, calling out the arch wrap, but not accounting for the thought of rocking it back. Looking to make quick work of the pistol players here. Rifles rocking it at the A-bomb site. It is completely clear for the taking. So go ahead, plant your bomb. Find your seventh round. This is going to be a four-point lead for Fnatic. And I like your point there. You know, you can definitely invite Fnatic. You can coax them into taking risks because mm -hmm. they're no strangers to it. 
And sometimes that can work out for you. Other times you coax them into what you expect and they are just simply too good to hold back. They'll run right through you if you're not cautious. And I think that uh, running right through to the B-bomb site was an awesome adjustment from Fnatic last round. Anti-Eco goes the way you would expect. Not a single kill has been added to the tally for God's sake. Maybe Flusha dies. He's got two CTs on the other side. Madden through the smoke. Why not? Give him something to complain about as Fnatic find their seven. Haha, uh -huh. Flesha gave him an empty gun. He had to reload and he died. Yeah, Fnatic are the guys that uh, that you see on YouTube betting their life savings on red over and over again. Uh, and uh, except they have some influence in whether or not they get red. Crims, 12 and 5, strong start and a, a strong lead for the team overall. Again, we'll see where what, what happens with the, the, the antics on Banana. Who comes out ahead? How aggressive is it being played for Golden? He's sticking his neck all the way out. Madden with the op gets taken out. He's got nothing to show for it. Basically no damage whatsoever. Or Brolin, however, gets opt on the other side of the map. And as a lurker, this does tell the CTs a thing or two. They're starting now to peel off of A. But these late round rotations are probably scary from Fnatic. They aren't committing all the time to their first sight. Very true. And it is early days. More than a minute on the clock. More than just the initial two CTs on B now. Ooh, wow, they're gonna get aggressive. They're gonna try to disrupt the setup here. Oh my goodness, Farling calling out Flusha as he was trying to prime and give cover to the grenades. No trade back from Golden. He's just gonna have to sprint away from this, pick up that bomb, and hope that his teammates can get the entries on the A site by the time he gets here because they can't waste much time. That rotate very quickly coming back over for Godsend. It's just a straight up 3v3 on the bomb site, trading back and forth. Crims could be the difference maker. Pico, he's gonna see the smokes go up, decides to instead sprint past that op and get a little bit of map control as his teammate comes over. Tucked into the apartments even, as Farlig has a long route up mid to join him. Golden tries to get flashed into short. Could have cost him there. A little bit of missed timing. But oh. speaking of missed timing, Farling, he just walked out and Stiko strikes Crims out of the pit. Now Golden's position's compromised. Decides to take to the top of the box. <laughs> it's Farling with a scope up close. Godsend finding four. Yeah, this is the kid we keep talking about, Farlig, man. What a shot from him to push in. And, and Fnatic can't secure that bomb plant, that bomb, that post plant, excuse me, even though they had such a great early to mid round there. The trades came out. And Godsent, importantly, went and recollected information at the top of Banana with Farlig in the first place. That was huge. That netted them a kill and didn't cost them anything, even though they saw a second player, tried to scoop it, but let him go, and then had to make a crazy rotation all the way over to A. And Fnatic were kind of preying on these comms, using Crims to walk out of halls. And while it's frantic in the Godsent camp, he comes out, kills Zen for free in the pit. It was just so smart from them to try to bank on the fact that Godsent were going to overstack and hasty rotate at every single turn. Talk to me about these opening kills. Another CT dies to just the smoke spam down banana. And it's a four versus five for Godsend to try and hold on to. Crystal was the victim last time around. Madden here in the 12th. Yeah, they just seem to be so uncomfortable with the thought of playing a 5v5 that they keep going for it, but sometimes they find it back. And not only do they find it back, they do it with banana presence now. Oh, wow. The dink from Stiko. That could have been huge had he picked up the frag as he fell back. Crystal. He's trying to find something to work with, but JW's had enough. Another M4 headshot that just doesn't culminate in kills. So the question is, will Zen pop up from Graveyard and mow them all down? He starts versus Crims here. Sparling in with another crag. He's trying to catch the bomb on the site. He sees one running over towards the Graveyard. Brolin just hiding behind the cover, and Farling wants him. Desperate for the frag. Can't get it in just yet. He has to contemplate the save. He has to. Yeah, he's got time, but it's the smoke that comes up and is... Most immediate choke point that he's like, well, I can't do anything about that. And he, man, he tried his damnedest and what a great wall bang. I mean, he didn't hit him, but he was so damn close. I'm, I'm actually shocked that one of those two shots didn't connect. And it, he shot up on the same spot. If there was, if the first one had hit, he probably would have got the kill and been on for the 1v1. And Fnatic by the skin of their teeth win that round. I mean, that's JW getting dinked to win his duel at Arch. This could have very easily been a 2v2 without an off and play. And there was Zen who found a good spot considering his teammate Sticko died. Also dinking a player, dying through smoke to sit in the graveyard to actually get one kill when he's surrounded. Completely surrounded. I feel like that's one of those wall bank positions that you can kind of get cheated in a way because those bullets didn't even penetrate the other side of the wall. I jumped into the server to check. Never was he really gonna... yep, because of, because it was on to because of the angle. Of an angle. Yep, exactly. really. So he was mm -hmm. on him. He was directly that, that on him. 100% needs to be fixed. Then it's really you can only wall bang that, that if you're ridiculous. Yeah, not pushed up from arch. If you're on the bomb site, then it just goes straight through. But yeah, shots careening off of the wall. So Brolin safely tucked in, sitting on his round. Licking his chops, happily positioned here at double the score of Godsent. Fnatic, even the four rounds they've given over to Godsent have not come by way of convincing fashion. Godsent picking up scraps sometimes. 
It's a big commitment towards the beast site. Not been, uh, it's been quite some time since we saw something like this. So very much catching God sent by surprise. Flush up picking up the two kills that really matter most. Cutting down the pistol players. And off on Farleg tries to run through smoke. Come on now, kid. You're playing versus JW. You think he's going to let you get away with stuff like that? Flush is ready. Flush is waiting. Flush is they looking good. They finally come through like a tempest into the B site, rushing fast. Sticko, another constellation frag. Ooh, and an off as well. He doesn't have enough health to survive. So, I mean, they don't know. They might try to fight him or just keep, keep him in place. Stuck. It's definitely not a great position to be in. Sticko, you might as well look for a kill. And he does get one. There's also a chance here to grab a third, but JW wins with the USP and with that gets out alive. Madden MP9 alone, Fnatic up nine to four. And it's always interesting to take a look at the half and, and try to discern where the small advantages are and all, all of those things and what the half would look like if you extended it another 15 rounds. But in Counter-Strike, obviously all that matters how you perform in those 15 rounds. And even though Godsend have had done, done some really cool stuff, because they haven't tightened up in certain spots in the early rounds, they've really they've really risked it too much, I think, for the CT side to be able to sustain an economy. And could have had some 5v4s if they weren't aggressive in two places at once. Here's Flesha with just his MAC-10, every reason in the world to run through fast on the other side of his Molotov, but happy to take the fight. And they've attracted the attention of the CTs. Yeah, Farleg most notably shows up, shuts down Flesha, who's having a little bit too much fun running through Molotovs, smack tenning players down. Eventually, Fnatic, they're gonna get that bomb over here towards the A site. Godsent are calling out the stack properly. So, two men inside of the bomb site and Zen to try and nip at the heels of the T's around short. Great damage being done. Sneeko's coming in with big kills. Him and Zen, two frags apiece. Blink and you miss it. How did that happen? I couldn't tell you. In indomitable defense on the A site. They mount it. And man, I was just looking at the stats from their phase match. Phase had him up. 10 to 5 on their T side, and Godsend came back and won. Of Inferno. Of Inferno. Oh. So we have a lot to see about Godsend's T side. I'm excited. Yeah, they're probably Ooh. fine with this. And in a 5v4 with no trade back. Damn, Stiko just gunning him down. No footing whatsoever offered over to Fnatic. Nine rounds is enough, Godsend seems to think. Gonna stop him right here. And what's a beautiful thing to think about is, of course, the fact that, as you had just alluded to, that match with FaZe on Inferno, you know, not only knowing that you can claw back... ...player here. Better be Farlig. Be better be Farlig. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> oh, that's a bit unfortunate. God damn it. That was the ultimate blue ball. Are you serious? Counter the wall bang? Warrior. No, no, not even. Yep. He gets flashed, so he has to uh, offer up the bomb plant, offer up the angle. I would rather see him actually just stay alive in this moment, so, you know, it's it's better off than trying to force the duel, giving up the three versus two post plant situation, because now they can just play numbers to their advantage. Flusha trying to spray down two, but it's a quick peek in from Madden and a sixth round for Godsent. Will they switch over to the T side and give us a master class? Can they string 10 rounds hinged on some wild antics? I'm not going to forget that uh, crystal stuck defuse in the smoke. When you've got the cojones to stick a bomb in the face of adversity, I become your fan, friends. So let's see. Six CT rounds for Godsent. Will it be enough? Fnatic going to try to shut down that momentum with an early second pistol win. They've got the utility here on Flusha and Golden. But it looks like Godsent are going to keep it simple. Heading up to Banana quite quickly. Molotov for the back of the bomb site, And it seems like the T's are just trying to bully their way through. Flusha, he actually gets all the way over towards Dark in cover. Coming in with headshots. Manages two, but it's <laughs> knife out. And that's no good. Man advantage up for Godsent. JW and Brolin, all that's left over. And Brolin stuck in smoke. So now 1v2. Yeah, and we were spectating Flush the whole time. If you were only looking at him, it looks like the round was going great, but everybody else falls around him. Like toy soldiers. They get their limbs picked off and they can't be repaired. There's no chance here. As the sight hold, again, comes down to this man on your screen, but that's it. All the rotates. The smoke, this kind of two-way smoke that allows the CTs in just does not do anything good for them. Nice shot there at the end for, for Crystal as well. And yesterday, again, we looked at an even worse half, 10-5 half, where God said we're able to come back on T-side. Scary scenes here for Fnatic. Scarifying. Chicken out of the way for JW Scout. Yeah. I want some headshots. Flick shot. Oh, no. Misses the mark. Almost a foot shot. 
Must agree with the nail. I would love to know if that means anything in Danish. Yeah. I imagine it would be like a small twig. A farlig. Uh, maybe it's a twig that grows figs. Now you're on to something. Now we're cooking with fire. And Fnatic are playing with smokes, slowing down the B play for the time being. You could see Godsent trying to get up there quickly. They even had the bomb ready to go. But uh, that smoke makes them a little too nervous. So they change directions. They're going to head towards the A site. And the problem with this is that there's just as many smokes here to be used. That's a good point. Yeah. The yeah, utility is still looking solid. Archer app on the cards. Ooh, JW peels off from his post, which opens up the arch completely. Not really a fake here that's pulled him off. They're just gambling it, as you do with the pistols. And that leaves two men in pit to have to work together. And uh, because they're limited on info, Perlin was just going to try to take arms with the player on lane. And Crims can't do much more than that. And, and from that point, they're just going to decide to save because they know they've got a very unfun round coming up and they'd like to try again but more on even terms before the before the sites are taken before the gun rounds really get rolling yeah jw's movement there on arch very clearly from our perspective with the advantage of obviously radar x-ray and the works you know we're all we're all playing on easy mode here but mm -hmm. uh, him moving away from arch just moments before god sent walk around it and i mean you could see how brolin was just wrecked if brolin was even closer on short a then maybe he could cut off one side of that hit and crims could have shoulder peeked to to see them coming in but uh, brolin caught in no man's land they kick the door open. He's got his pants around his ankles, and it's all shut down. So that's a eight for Godsend. Bomb blows up, four survivors. They keep their AKs, they keep the MAC-10, and as said, JW just wants to move forward with the scout because this round, number 18, it's not going to be any more fun. Oh. As requested. Farlig, it means dangerous in Danish and Swedish and Norwegian. Wow. Danger, no, he's, man. He's scary in three countries. But only those three countries. Scandinavia's most wanted. I think he Whoa. lived up to the name constantly. That and peeking around. He's got the help of the flames to maintain CTs at bay. Flush up. Dunk it on him. Oh. Not too bad. Could have been better. Could have been worse, as is the nature of grenades. Sneeko <laughs> tries to spam the smoke, but actually dies to the deagle of Crims, JW. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that kill feed through the smoke, through the wall, through the head. Zen is dead, and JW's scout was worth keeping for that one frag alone. It's a three versus three. They have the entirety of the T's corralled on this bomb site. And I mean, really, what do they have to lose? They've got to buy back in the next round anyways. If I'm them, I'm trying to make this happen. Give God sent this false sense of confidence. Make them think maybe you're on for the save and then smack them when there's just enough time left over. There's no kit, though. They start to get going and JW's down. It's not looking good for just these pistol players. Just looking to rack up costs versus God sent at this point. Forfeiting the ninth round, allowing the T's to tie at nine apiece. <laughs> Farlig, you disgust me in all the right ways. Yeah, very, very much, very much dangerous. Very <laughs> dangerous, flickerish. A very dangerous man. I thought, Just honestly, I, I was, I thought you were trying to combine danger with Danish, and I was really impressed. Oh, yeah, you, you could have, if you were smooth, you could have walked away with that one. Dangerish. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'll only be able to say that by accident from now on. But if, if, yeah, if my tongue doesn't get twisted, I might try it again. Um, nine, 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 and nine. And so, why? Wow, I almost said that three times. Okay. JW, he's falling back. They've got the banana nades going both ways, but Godsends haven't taken any damage. So they don't work out so well by Fnatic. Taking banana, it's all theirs for free. Smoke towards the coffins. Flusha, first oranges, golden back behind him. Between these two B defenders, they have a single smoke. Yeah. It is not going to be a fun day. Farlig, he's on the front side of this T hit. And it's a slight bit of damage versus golden. Flush is going to activate with that ump. Only good for the one. 
Madden takes to the high ropes. And Golden is oh well God. back behind Nubox. <laughs> so well timed. He just waits. But because he had to wait for his teammates to combine on that pinch, it gives the chance for JW to answer back with the op frag, keeping us even here. Three versus three, but watch the radar. Stiko, he's coming for you. The question will be to the CT what? move forward too fast. Farlig missing the first what? one, follows up the double push here from Brolin. He's trying to trade, but no way. Godsend in the lead. Farlig gets robbed again. First the wall bang into graveyard. That kill, how 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 on earth is that not directly in him? That's a tweet directly at the devs. But this <laughs> but then he comes out for the repeak and really could have could have lost the round there if he ends up dying. But uh, of course. Farlig is confident, is happy to try it, and that allows Godsend to get to double digits officially in this map before Fnatic, even after that fantastic start to the game. Fnatic with the pistol is looking to do more, do more utility damage. Oh my god. It's like that kill is like the point in the game where you're like, this was a team that was struggling, and then all of a sudden it feels like now it's the other team that's going to be struggling. That's like, uh, you know, that that's Golden just saying, I'm not having fun anymore, guys. No, yeah. And it's not going to get any more fun if Godsend start adding rounds against Fnatic, because remember, this is elimination. Due to the matchup outcomes, there is no chance for Fnatic to qualify if they lose this BO3. They're already trailing by a map, and now they're trailing by one round. And it's looking like a second because just the three pistol players left. They're trying to sprint over to the A side as quick as they can. We have seen some wild antics with pistols so far this map. Let's see if Brolin's CZ is enough. Just the one kill. Now the next man flush has pinned into the moto, so he is doomed. JW way too outnumbered to make anything happen here. He's trying versus Zen. The 1v1 doesn't go his way. An 11th for Godsent. And I think the scoreline mirrors this situation. Somebody call for help. Yeah, they need to immediately. Never forget those three digits. But uh, what's cool is also Madden was great on Nuke. He just wasn't a focal point because of Zen, Farlig, and Sticko. But he was hitting shots, and now he's taking charge. He's up 20 and 10. Uh, he's got the most kills on the server, way more kills than anyone on Fnatic, honestly. Uh, Crystal's here, taking a lot of damage as, as this player ends up doing quite often. Just just have to look at the minimap to see the kind of stuff that goes on on Banana to fight for early control. Golden falls back, gets Crystal out of the round. And that's definitely something nice here for Fnatic. It, it was B antics that didn't work out so well last time. They draw the smoke out nice and early, which is kind of a big win for Godsend, depending on how the rotations go from here on out. And, oh! <laughs> a little bit of blood spatter on the wall. But the rotation isn't around from CT to graveyard or CT to construction to the coffins. Crim's, Crim's in a good spot to get a kill. Yeah, Stick was mm -hmm. holding this. Off the flash. Nicely done. Great little bit of teamwork there. JW and Crim's sensing Stiko's near. The question really becomes, can Madden crack open the B site? It cost them health to fight for Banana early. Madden, he's going to try to cut off that rotator in JW, but Golden from the boxes locks it down. Fnatic going to keep them within one round. They do not want Godsent with momentum. Definitely very strong hold from the beginning to the end. Golden obviously doing that damage to Crystal allowed him to win that fight in the first place with those early B grenades. Godsend wants to take on the, the fight of this early banana control. They are going to have to run through a hell of a lot of utility. Fortunately for both teams, they have enough money to try it. It just depends on how, how random do they want the round to be. Oh. Crystal taking a lot of damage uh, once again. We'll cut your attention. All those grenades. I saw like oh. eight trajectories of utility. Yeah. Look like uh, some sort of like, you know, lasered obstacle course. Mission impossible some, to take the top of B. At some point, if they see all of this banana presence early on, they're going to try to rush up mid. This is obviously the easiest response when you know there's 3B. I think they might have considered it this round, but didn't expect Fnatic to try the same thing again. So overall, this works out quite well. As we can see from Godsend, they have, they have dropped most of their utility belts. Down to three smokes, two flashes, no Molotovs to use for quad if they want to take on the B site.
JW is really the only one who stayed the most patient on the utility, but it's also because he's very deep in the A site. Arch smoke is correct. As we can see, no one's spotting lane here. So they get the most value out of this. The two smokes will go into B. They have to commit. They don't have smokes to fake. We saw this Crims oh. versus Stiko situation last time, and Stiko tries to <laughs> keep through. I love that Crims makes a bunch of noise. You know, it kind of draws Stiko into the open, only for JW to cut him down. Great crossfire. Crims just pummeling damage through that smoke. So Farlig, he's just going to try to punch in the digits here. That one off in his hands, poised for the 1v3. Now this is a good corner to hold because you get shadow advantage, but he wants to cut off players before they all come in accumulatively. Section them off. Cut them down. Oh. He's We're dodged the first two. This. Yeah. No, no, no. <gasps> They're turned the wrong way. That's enabled them to get the first. He expects the peak, but it's just moments too late. Crims comes wide as Farlig turns his attention. Fnatic two in a row. Fnatic tied at 11. This map's still too close to call. I'd love to know how much damage Crims did that round because he only gets the two kills, but he keeps spamming them as they're crossing, making this the most annoying execute of all time. As we can see, even Farlik getting tagged down. So it's fitting that Crims is the one to finish him off at quad. But ultimately, like, he's the reason it's a 1v3 in the first place with that rotation and the spam. And as you brought up, Crims running from Arch and then JW catching Sticko. That cannot be a coincidence. I didn't realize until the round came to a close and we watched back those highlights, but far like he was doing everything there in the 22nd round. He'd gotten the three frags. The entirety of Godsent posted would have been the ace to try and clutch, but a fight from the ops, neither comes out on top, just a warning shot over the bow. It's a, he's a, a severely unfavored fight for him to take there, to, to dry peek the coffins like that. And he's like, he's got a pristine peek. I mean, he's coming into this extremely tight angle that they just have to sit on. He has to pre-fire it perfectly and gets the shot off. Lucky, luckily he lives. But my God, he, he has got real courage. This is it. This is going to be the straight up B commit. Fnatic still just two players here. Golden Flim Hiller to try and fight back from. Golden's able to burn Crystal to a crisp. And now that flashbang does kind of delay things just momentarily. Flush is trying to find eyes up. Wow, the audio cue is enough for him to get down Madden, who had just jumped over with minimal HP. Denied Good anything Farley. further. Farley, he's ready for it, but Zen's also scoped up with the op. It's the double sniper combo on the site doing damage. JW's trying to find a pick back, but Zen peaks as the op's on cycle. Brolin, one versus three with the first headshot. He calls out the right position for the smoke. That's going to enable him to start moving forward. Farley, last seen behind Coffin, so he should have an idea, but he doesn't have the kill, and they no longer have this tied. God sent 12 to 11. I'm loving what we're seeing from Godsend here. Two really important things. They go ahead with the same B exec, but they don't do it with too much mid control. So it doesn't alarm rotates just yet. And then also they have Sticko not lurk this round. So he's one of the two players left over in the clutch to make sure they can win. As opposed to losing one on the banana control, not having 5v5 on the entry, and then having Sticko die late round on Arch trying to sell a fake when it only alarmed the rotations. That's scary for Fnatic. Godzen have made some really smart adjustments. Another one. Look at the pace. Look at the tempo. Trying to charge headstrong into the arch side. This is versus the pistols, but they are very close to these smokes. <gasps> Golden. Through. Screws Crystal out of the round. Forces what's left of Godsent to just try and charge up onto the A site. But here comes Crims. One kill off the 5-7. Still a chance, but nope. Zen. He's starting to connect between the eyes. Two CTs die, and Flusha has to run. Takes his frustration out on the chicken. Mac 10 on his back. 13th round on the board for Godsent. They are shooting for a 2-0 and an elimination versus Fnatic. Who would have expected this? We've already seen Mouse Sports fall to the wayside. If Fnatic, another heavily favored team, were to join them, I would say we are in a very new world of Counter-Strike. 
and we can see the path for Godsend to win this game. We see the B problem for Fnatic. We see the solutions coming out for Godsend. We don't know what Fnatic are going to do in response to it. And we don't know if uh, if Godsend are going to continue to go B, but they know that they have the ability to do it. So it's really scary to think about this from the perspective of Fnatic. We don't know what their adjustment's going to be, but we know they need to make one. It's, it's common for teams to, despite the knowledge that it's going to be a B exec, play still two in the site and wait and rely on the hold. But the one thing they can't rely on is that spam to come in so consistently from Crims from CT spawn. So if you're godsent, you're ignoring that completely. You think, well, hopefully he doesn't spam us down. Let's focus on getting the entries and probably most of the time we'll win. Dangerous indeed. Map one was Farlick's fifth 30 kill game on Nuke in 2020 alone. A great map for him. What? But it really feels like his performances are map agnostic. Um, there's something about the way he plays and just his attitude that I think is the most important thing. Knowing when to peek, feeling comfortable peeking, going out for opening kills. All these things are allowing him to take a lot of fights. And because he believes in that, he also delivers the kills. So ready. Glad we kept our eyes. Oh no. Oops. Un unfortunately, that's the life of you. That's even if you're not going to try to take the fight at the top of banana, that is going to be your life as a player that has to jump out to banana. I mean, it's really hard not to take damage, but yeah. Thing is, a smoke did go down. That, that's one of those. That's one of those frags. Oh, I would love to get, I like see. an aerial replay because I definitely heard the the swooshing of an extinguished fire, but I don't think it spread entirely. Hmm. Could have, he could have got cheated by the uh, interaction, or it could have been a second Molotov that he didn't realize he was standing on. Interesting. That's true. Sharp eye today, Connor. Got the graveyard uh, wall bang. Smoke molly interactions not panning out. Identifying all the bugs. And doing nothing about them. <laughs> Just yelling about them. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like, here patiently. Look, looks like B's on the menu again. And oh, but this time Crims is okay. Wow. Well, that's it. I mean, take a B, right? You killed Crims. You'd think, but Flush, uh, he's got other ideas. Finds Madding coming out of the closest of the cubbies. He is still very much just one player. You would think there'd be a second, but I think Flusha, he's gonna welcome this challenge. Bring it. Ooh. He gets fired out of his position, down to oh the 30 God. HP. He panics enough to call for some sort of help, and who would blame him? So much utility committed by Godsent. They run this back with 10 seconds to spare. Brolin has to come up big. They just need to deny the bomb, and it goes from bad to worse. Godsend, all they had to do was kill Flusha with 30 HP. He was no longer in cover. He had been burned out of the open. And yet they tried to big brain. Okay, number one, don't die in the 4v3, and then you can commit to whatever set you want. It works out great. Number two, great from Fnatic to not rotate. And the, specifically from Flusha, because the A guys don't know. Flusha said, don't rotate. He didn't hear anything more. He didn't hear any footsteps. He said, just chill. I'll be fine. He has 20 health and he makes that call. Not many people would be willing to say that. Yeah, and he has to gamble. So, I mean, most of the time what you'd see in that situation, one rotator hard and commit to, to, to B, and then 10 seconds left, yeah, but maybe only one player on A, and so it's legitimate rotation. Exactly. But, Fanatic make him look stupid for it, but it's because they're just so confident and not going to bite. And a world where, you know, I see that working way better if Godsend had at least one of their players still say already at the top of mid when the other two were at the bottom of banana or somebody was inside of the apartment so that they could give cover versus Brolin's position. But all three of Godsend's players came sprinting up lane side by side, shoulder to shoulder and got cut down. So that was a rough round to watch, especially considering it puts us into this one. Uh, a bit of a write-off here in the 26th. It was just the pistols, so as expected, a calamity of corpses here at the top of mid. A dog pile have... of death. Crystal. They even had a, a bad smoke that they were working with at the top of banana and the 4VX, so they could have sure. just, once yeah. they got crims, I mean, that's a free, uh, a free entry. So, I mean, it, all I have to do is go one for one. At that point, they knew the rotations were coming in. So yeah, God sent. I'm like, well, certainly we can't go B again. Nope, you can. You can. Mm. Definitely, they should just play up the information that they have, probably. Unless they have more time. You know, unless they have a little bit more time. 
So here, uh, Zen's, Zen's a bit low on the utility kit. And we'll see if Crystal ends up uh, getting killed at the beginning of the round. Again, JW falls off an angle as they don't peak towards mid. And I think Zen was just a little bit worried about that level of mid control. It takes three damage from that very particular grenade. You know, you've got to be in a certain position for that to do any damage. I do have an appreciation for Godsent throwing away that rotate, though, because it does keep this game as close as can be. Keeps it interesting a la max. We've got some smoke grenades popping down over towards... Oh, is that? Yeah, okay. I was going to say... <gasps> Oh! Whoa, okay. Yeah, well, nasty. he does die again at the beginning of the round. This time, less, a little less fair. Dirt nasty on the timing. Molotov meant to go deep into the apartments, but it actually gets extinguished. So following it up with a frag will chip some health off Stiko. Three defenders here for Fnatic. Arch entirely open, but all the damage. Fantastic. Brolin just melting Madden. As they tried to posture themselves on lane, JW nearly slain, but he falls back into the site. Smoke everywhere. Threat looming near. And Godsent, they have to make a decision here. They don't even have the bomb. They're going to walk away to save. This is it. 14-13. Fnatic back in the lead. Yeah, I'm just a bit disappointed. I feel like they draw. I think they missed their smoke on the stairs on the site. I'm not sure if it was supposed to land more properly on default, but then that denied them line of sight. And then they're going lane in the in the five v five when they've seen all their success on B. It's another round where Fnatic aren't even over rotating towards B. They're really just Godsent think that they're in Fnatic's head when they're not, and uh, Fnatic are just like, well, great, you're finally playing our game. Come towards the A site. Come up lane. It's the hardest site. It's the hardest part of almost any map to try to take. In, in the 5v5, we'll uh, get, give it give it your best shot. We've been waiting our whole lives for this moment. And obviously, this kill makes it a lot easier. I mean, a great <laughs> time, smoke shot into mid, just holding the entire time, literally getting bored. Maybe his finger got heavy, and he was like, all right, I'm just going to click now. But yeah, now God sent are, are like, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll buy. And here's the point where it's like, well, if we go B, is this going to be a bit obvious? Three at the top of banana. Do they have the... No, they don't have the grenades to work with. Whoa, deep molly. It's gonna... You just said they don't have the grenades to work with, and that was one of their last two smokes. Burnt. In order to dodge the molly damage. Frag sails past. I don't know, dude. Tech nines and Mac tens have scared me lately. There's a world where Godsent managed this. Stiko off of the peak. They're just gonna try to trade train Stiko with a team kill in the mix of it all. And low HP on two of the remaining three. Crims oh, unsuspecting oh. to Crystal. Jumps off the top rope, hits him with the elbow. And Brolin's down for the count. Gold's Godsent in with the clutch. Godsent working with minimal tools there at the top of Banana. But you know what tool they use most? You know what tool looks real good? Explosiveness and certainty. They just charged in, didn't hesitate, didn't try to elaborately rotate back or anything along those lines. They got back to what mm. was working early. Straight yeah. up B hit. 14 right. rounds apiece, two to go. Couldn't have put it better myself. And that's a round where Fnatic, they stack the three towards B. They're trying to set this net to see if that comes again, and it does. And they still can't stop it. As you mentioned, it can be some of the scariest things to see. A Tech 9 and Mac 10 on your screen. More banana players looking for a fight. <gasps> Golden, Golden falls off of oranges, and there's nobody within the site. It's Flusha with a freaking UMP trying to lock this down. Some damage done to Zen, but they can still move up. He's dodging the first flash, somehow manages through the smoke. The damage is so substantial. Brolin's Molotov into the mix as well. They've got the man advantage, but Farlick goes high yet again, cuts it down he to the through. two versus three. <gasps> he did. Flusha. He He's absolutely not even did. about the flank. And they're not worried about the bomb plant yet either. Farlick's gonna double back. Oh no! It's close. Flusha finding him by surprise, swapping over to the AWP and Madden. He is so outnumbered. He is so out health. The Molly lands on his feet, and Fnatic have done it. All thanks to the big balls of Flusha. He throws himself through smoke. He blindly lines up the ump spray. Explain that. You just can't, man. Some he people have Counter-Strike magic in their veins, and I can't help but feel like Flush is one of them. Man, Flush had $5,100 before that round ended, and he yeah, bought he a UMP again. <laughs> In the know. in round 29, in and he round. gets three kills and does over 100 damage through the smoke. 
unbelievable scenes. It looks like some of that aggression may boil over to his teammates. JW feeling inspired here in the 30th round. Sets that off up down mid. Doesn't see anything for it. And even if he sees the best of what Godsent has to offer, that comes in the form of AK Galil and another Mac 10. That's it. Dwindling utility. But a very similar buy. Don't you dare forget to what we saw them break through this B defense with already. And it looks like they're gonna try their hand once more. Mac 10 rounds the corner. Golden's coming up empty handed at first, but he jumps up for two kills. Now, the big question is can they wrap him through construction? Madden's got the first one, getting the better weapon, and Flusher goes down for free. 3v3. This round's anyone's to take. <gasps> it's the flank from Banana. The flank from Banana gets Pico down low. Oh, they can't. The denying that flank could win it. They've got three Molotovs. That means that. Quad is screwed. Emo is screwed. It's going to come down to Farleg here. Holding down construction side. Who's going to land the shot? JW. Oh! Through the new box. Madden back in with a headshot versus Brolin. Both of these T's over back behind Coffins. Bombs tick so far gone. Another kill comes in, but Farleg's empty handed. Fnatic, they're scrambling for the bomb. They jump on top of it. It's going to come close, but they've got it. <laughs>